right guys welcome back to another mystery unboxing video we're gonna be starting out with a 200 dollars mystery box going to a 300 dollars mystery box and then to a 400 dollars mystery box and then that's right that big one at the end that is going to be the grand finale a thousand dollar airsoft mystery box and what's really cool about these airsoft mystery boxes is they're super rare 200 dollars one actually isn't pretty rare that one is one out of uh 200 i believe and then the 300 dollars mystery box is one out of 20 there's only 20 of these ever made and then again the 400 dollars mystery box there's only 20 of those ever made Made. And then I don't believe the $1,000 one is actually limited, but again, it is a worth $1,000 just for that one box. So that is going to be the grand finale. So normally when I do these mystery boxes, I actually have them label, you know, I ask them in the comments when I buy them on the store to actually label which is which. So this one's gonna be a little tricky. Obviously, we know that's the $1,000 one because of the weight and the size, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, obviously, but I'm just guessing. And then the $200 one, I'm guessing it's this one because it just was like just very not very packed very well and it's super light so let's go straight into this guy and see if this is indeed the 200 dollars mystery box Bruh. let's go ahead and see what we got Ooh! all right so zion arms without further ado let's go ahead and see what this guy is this looks like a really nice brand obviously the packaging is really cool with these kind of like details in the actual box itself let's see what we got Ooh! i have no idea what this is i've never seen one of these but this is the price right here i'm not really sure obviously which price point this is it does look to be maybe a more expensive gun but it obviously does come with a battery so that's usually more of a cheaper gun but then again this is a kind of a lipo with deans on it so that is obviously an indication of it being a nice one and obviously this charger actually looks kind of nice too so maybe this is a more expensive gun i don't know you guys know before me there's the price obviously we want to go check out the gun as soon as we can but there's lots of cool stuff to actually check out before we get into that i'm going to be chronographing and shooting all the guns in the video just to see kind of how they perform and if they're fun to shoot or not looks like this guy comes with lots of neat stuff so here is the wall charger pretty cool i think it is actually a yep this is a smart balance charger so basically with these smart chargers they actually won't let the battery kind of overcharge or like overheat the battery or charger is what i'm guessing so basically it's just kind of a more smart system and it kind of protects your batteries better and obviously it came with this super cute little tiny ass battery i've actually never seen one like this it's pretty much a perfect square Obviously, there's the little part where it goes into. Pretty funny. If you're unfamiliar with how to charge a LiPo battery, there's these little kind of connections at the end. And obviously, there's a three prong and four prong one. So this one is a four prong. So you just plug that guy right in there. There you go. And then super easy. You just got to plug this into the part right there. And then this part into the wall, obviously. I'm not sure what this looks like. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. But it kind of just probably shows like maybe the percent of it's on or if it's like, you know, charging or not charging. I'm not really sure. Looks like we come with a little handy dandy speed loader. This one looks like it holds a lot more BBs than normal. The speed loader I've been using for years that's basically already broken holds I think about like somewhere between 80 or 100 BBs. This one looks like it holds maybe like 150 BBs which is pretty cool. But obviously if you don't know how these work, you just open this part on the top like so. And then you put the BBs in there, close the top so they don't fall out. And then you just press the BBs into the airsoft magazine like so. So this is the actual magazine it comes with, has a little cool logo on the bottom. Nothing crazy, basically just looks like a Air P9 magazine. It looks to be a mid cap magazine as well, so probably better for rate of fire and it doesn't have that annoying little scrolly wheel at the bottom. Obviously this says 30 just for fun, but I'm pretty sure this holds maybe more like 50 to 100 or something like that. All right, so what else we got? We got a cool little Zion patch, which is pretty sweet. And then what do we have here? Oh, a lipo safe stack. Okay, cool. So I'm actually gonna open this up. Normally I wouldn't for the winner, but obviously I kind of want to see what this looks like and show you guys what these actually are because they're pretty helpful. Basically, if you have a lipo battery, obviously they are kind of more dangerous and a little bit more powerful than normal batteries. So if you're done using it and you don't want to worry about it maybe exploding or something crazy like that, Just kind of good to have if you have some lipo batteries. What else we got over here? Looks like we have a compensator too. So you can add that on there if you would like to on the end. Pretty sweet. Kind of a unique little boxy look as well to that. All right, but this is actually what it looks like. Pretty funky little guy. Obviously it has kind of like a area so you can actually attach some kind of little stock. But as you can see, I guess this one doesn't come with the stock. But if you want to undo the battery, there's this little latch on the bottom of this little cute tiny square on the back, I guess. You actually put the battery right there. I guess that's why they come with their own proprietary uh, battery to this guy. Cause obviously there is basically zero batteries that will actually fit that that are on the market. So it's nice of them to actually construct and add their own battery to it. And this is called the PW9. Comes with a really nice full metal rail actually, which 
which is obviously sweet to see that. Comes with, I guess, little cool trades as well on there. And it has some kind of like already built in, like kind of C grip, which is pretty cool. Has like a little key mod slots on both these sides. And then obviously the full rail on the top. Lots of funky little kind of quirky edges and kind of like designs on the whole receiver. Kind of cool. Obviously, it makes the gun look very unique. Obviously, you probably don't want to use this guy outdoors. So I'm guessing the inner barrel isn't too long. And obviously, it is kind of meant for CQB, I'd assume, with the no stock on there. But if you want to actually pair this up with a sniper and kind of use a sniper as your primary and then use this kind of as a secondary rifle if you get into close quarters and a outdoor field that actually kind of might be a good killer combo and this thing actually isn't too heavy either it's obviously not super light like a pistol but this thing is actually pretty light actually one of the most light stock guns i've actually ever felt and that's also having a full metal construction which is actually pretty impressive for the weight and obviously you don't have any guy right here to pull back the bolt so you actually have this guy at the front little unique system so there you go and that kind of just pulls back the dust cover and your actually access to the rotary style hop up which is pretty nice you can just press this guy right here and it closes it like so. It's actually one of the coolest guns I've ever unboxed. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of style of the stock. Obviously, I usually like stocks on my guns. It kind of has the looks of an M4. And then it has, of course, these unique little SMG style magazines as well. So pretty cool little combo. But obviously, let's go charge up this battery and actually see how this guy performs. All right, let's see if this little guy packs a punch. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Pretty cool. Let's try some full auto and then go back to semi. It's kind of cool. It's a sensation actually with the full auto because there's obviously no stock, so you can kind of feel the gun kind of playing around a little bit, going up and down when you're shooting. Pretty cool. But obviously pretty good semi-automatic feel and uh, pretty fast actually. I think this thing actually would be pretty good on a CQB field to be honest. All right, this is signifying two out of four of the boxes. This one is 10 pounds. That one is also 10 pounds. And the first one was 10 pounds too, but they kind of obviously feel like different weights. So maybe they just kind of estimated the weight on there, but this is going to be the second one we're gonna do, two out of four. I'm assuming this is maybe the three or four dollar one, but the first one we got obviously could have been that price point too. So I'm actually not sure which one this is going to be. I guess it's annoying they didn't label it, but it's kind of more fun too. So you have no idea what you're gonna get next. All right, let's see. Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh, very nice. Most of you know kind of what this means. Uh, the brand and obviously the kind of gun it is but if you guys don't know that you're going to be in for a little treat all right this guy is something really special so obviously most of you know what pts is a very good brand obviously makes some cool magazines and stuff too and obviously some externals but this guy okay this guy is a fun guy i haven't really actually seen one of these in a very long time on the field or even like in general people playing with this it's just kind of like a weird gun to want to get but it's pretty cool you guys will see it in a sec Ooh, all right, all right, all right. It looks like it has a KWA warranty. So maybe the internals are KWA gas blowback and then the externals are made from PTS. If you guys saw the box, obviously it said gas blowback rifle and obviously you guys know I love my gas blowback rifles. Oh my gosh, this magazine's so heavy. Holy sh**. This is literally the most heavy magazine I've ever felt on any airsoft gun ever. Now I'm just having PTSD from when I had a KDA like gas pullback rifle back in the day and I had like five or six of these on my vest and I was a little kid. These were so heavy and it just literally hurt my back because it made my like vest like 10 pounds heavier. But this thing obviously looks pretty nice aside from the weight, super annoying, but it is a PTS EPM gas blowback magazine, which is pretty cool. It has these little kind of like indents in the magazine so it's easier to kind of grab and it's not just super smooth and obviously it looks cool to have that little texture on there too looks like we got some kind of i don't know what this is actually let's check this guy out um okay so this is kind of like a speed loader type of deal not really a speed loader obviously more like a slow loader and then once it's on there like so you actually just put obviously the bbs inside and you kind of just like forcefully push them into the magazine obviously it sounds super bad but this system actually works way better than standard speed loaders all right but the part that i really want to look at this guy is going to be super fun to shoot obviously you got some crazy dust obviously all over this guy let me clean this up real quick pretty light compared to actually what i was going to expect with this magazine i mean this magazine literally feels like half the weight of this gun i'm just kidding but almost kind of i'm not even kidding not super overly heavy like you would expect because this is super long but it does feel very high quality 
quality for the weight as well. Got a full kind of metal upper receiver right there, which is pretty cool. And then this one has a plastic receiver on the bottom, kind of just making a hybrid weight system. It actually kind of makes it feel kind of nice. It's not too heavy, but not too light either. I guess this one was manufactured by KDBA and then obviously has PTS, I guess, externals on there. So I guess they partnered up to make this cool gas pull like rifle. So if you're not familiar with this platform, it is kind of just like a corky looking M4, I guess you could say. It has a collapsible stock in the back, which is really cool. There you go. See, it's kind of funny too, because some of the AEG versions of this, you could actually see the wiring going from the gearbox in the back into the buffer tube. And it's kind of like scary to actually like do this quickly because you think you're gonna like rip the wiring. But obviously with gas bulb, you don't even need to worry about that. Obviously there is no wiring with this guy. Never really understood why people like to actually collapse the stock with a M4 style build. But obviously if you're going into like a CQB type environment, and you don't want to have that extra space, then you can just collapse it or maybe even for storage or something like that. But obviously for a rifle style platform, you kind of want to use the full stock. That's kind of the purpose of this guy. And obviously has this really nice iron sight on the back, which is really nice. You just press this little section right there and actually flips up. So really easy. And then obviously it's really easy to put down as well. And then what's really cool too, is actually the iron sight in the front actually pops up like so. And it's actually kind of integrated into the gun itself, which is actually kind of unique. Next year we don't see this on many rifles. So obviously it can be kind of annoying because obviously you can't really, you know, take it off if you wanted to. It's kind of built into the gun. But the nice part obviously about that is actually able to seamlessly like fit into the whole gun itself. So you pretty much just don't even notice if you want it down and want to run just like a red dot sight on top instead of the iron sights. But if you want, obviously you'll always have it there in case your red dot sight goes down. Obviously I'm not really sure what you would put in this little guy. Maybe some funny like snacks like M&Ms or something like that. So randomly when you're on the field, you could just take out and eat some M&Ms, which would be kind of funny obviously. <laughs> All right, but this guy is gas blowback. So it's got some cool party tricks. Obviously there is the bolt system, super satisfying. All right, let's put this 10 pound magazine into this guy. See what it looks like. Pretty sweet. And another really cool quirky thing about this guy I didn't even realize was actually, you know how normal M4s kind of have the bolt release kind of right there in that position, but instead your kind of natural grip goes right there. Obviously when you're changing mags, you put a fresh one in right there. And then you just have to press this little button downward and it just kind of releases the bolt. So kind of cool. It makes sense because your actual natural position when you're loading is kind of right there anyway. But I guess if you get really good at it, it could be really efficient. So obviously this thing has really nice externals and we can look at this guy all day. But I really want to go shoot this guy. Obviously gas bullet guns are super fun to shoot versus AG. So with that said, let's go ahead and test this guy out. All right, this is the guy I've been really wanting to shoot in this video. So without further ado, let's actually see how this guy shoots and see if this guy gives me some nostalgia to when I played Modern Warfare 2 back in the day. Obviously really fun to shoot. You do feel a little bit of that kickback. Obviously it's not super like heavy kickback. Like it's not really unusable. Maybe I'm just feeling this because I'm shooting it right now, but I think some of the like half plastic construction with this guy kind of like soaks up the kickback a little bit more. Cause obviously if it's like full metal, maybe it'll kind of ricochet harder. Maybe I'm just crazy, but I think it actually feels a little bit smoother than some of the full metal gas bullet guns. Let's try some of that full auto. <laughs> you could probably see the GoPro shaking a little bit there. This thing is actually pretty fun. In person, this thing actually soaks up the kickback pretty well, but it's still fun enough and gives a good solid kickback to have fun with this gas bullet rifle. All right, we have to do one more magazine with this guy. We also have some extra gas in here, so you already know we have to do one more magazine. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm already like muscle memory trying to cock it back there, but it's up here. Super fun. Full auto to end it off. Out of gas. All right. One more small box to go. I guess small box. So this is the three out of four. This one is also 10 pounds, but again, probably all different weight. This one actually might be the $200 one. Again, I have absolutely no idea. But obviously you guys already know what the prices are of the other two because I put them on screen. But this one, I actually have no idea what price it is. So this one could be the $300, $400 or the $200 one, I have no idea. All right, let's see what we got in this bad boy. Hmm, E and C US Airsoft. Okay, let's see what we got. Don't see anything else in this box. Kind of nice, simple boxes for today, just the guns. 
No idea if this is gonna be expensive. I'm gonna guess this one's the least expensive for today that we've unboxed, but honestly, you guys know and I don't, so no idea. Uh, oop. Oof. Well, let's see what we got in this guy. I've never heard of this brand, so it's probably not a good sign, but let's see. Automatic Airsoft Gun Series Carbine. Okay. I'm guessing this is probably the cheapest one for today because obviously it has a huge stamp on the front that says made in China, but some great stuff is made in China too, but probably not when it has a huge sticker just sitting on the middle of the gun right there. It's pretty funny. It also comes with this kind of little attachment piece if you want to switch it out on the end right there. And then it obviously has this weird quirky magazine. It looks kind of like it's supposed to go with some kind of like DMR build. I guess this is supposed to be maybe an M16 instead of just like an M4 carbine, like it says there. <laughs> one of my favorite parts about this box, obviously you can kind of see it's cheap, is actually just use like an outline of an actual M4 magazine, but obviously this guy can't even fit in there properly and it's just not even taking up all the space, which is pretty funny. Looks like they kind of just robbed you of a normal M4 magazine. Do it actually looks like in there. Yep, kind of looks like maybe a M16 build. It just kind of throw me off because this like little rail system is supposed to be longer with an M16, I believe, but it kind of looks like a standard M4 one that just looks like it got shrunk, which is kind of funny. Regardless, this thing has a collapsible stock which is obviously kind of nice and i'm guessing it is yep front wired so obviously as you can see there is no buffer tube or you know like place to put any kind of battery in the back but basically with a front wired gun you actually just pull this kind of ring looking thing back and then you're able to actually pull this bottom portion out right here struggle is real but yeah basically i'm really sure what battery you're going to use this there's barely any space in here because this handguard is super small basically the battery goes in here obviously this is a timia connector and then you basically just hide the battery up top right there and you're able to shoot the gun so pretty cool but without further ado let's go ahead and see if we can fit a battery in that bad boy and actually see what this guy chronographs at and actually how this guy shoots nice Obviously, I have no batteries that are actually small enough to fit in this handguard, so I had to do a little bit of a, uh, you know, operation on the front, if you will. I didn't even notice this before, but it's got a little cool, like, blue rotary hop-up. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Paired up with a 9.6 volt, let's see what this guy has in store. Not too bad. Let's try some full auto. All right, boom. This is going to be the grand finale, the $1,000 mystery box. This one comes in out 20 pounds. They even wrote, hey, Wag, thank you for your support. Of course, anytime, Cisco, shout out to you. And then obviously printed on both the sides of this box, it says Jag made in China. I obviously have no idea if that means Jag arms or what that really means. This guy was obviously pretty tall, as you can see, probably like two or three times taller than any of the other boxes you've gotten today, maybe even four times taller. And obviously this guy's $1,000. I'm actually not sure if this one comes with like a couple different guns or just a whole bunch of accessories or just only guns or only accessories i really have no idea all i know is i paid a thousand bad boys for this boy what did i just say anyway let's go ahead and see what we got all right this is like christmas morning let's see what we got brown paper brown paper Ooh, very nice all right first up looks like we got some cool little t-shirts in this bad boy let's see if they got my size right i guess this is all going to be given away anyway on my club but looks like got some extra large t-shirt kind of cool actually looks like it also has a sec oh there's three t-shirts or maybe four but to give a little bit more of a backstory to this obviously each person had their own kind of like mystery box with this kind of drop so basically i'm guessing they picked out which guns are going to be in the boxes so it's pretty cool they kind of just like took a picture of them with their actual airsoft kits on there and actually animated them on these t-shirts pretty cool there's even another one down here check that out looks like we have a condo Hydro Floss, which is pretty cool, has exactly 946 milliliters, 12 hours of hot stuff, and 24 hours of cold stuff. So, pretty sweet. I don't think there's anything special this guy. I think it just looks like any other Hydro Floss, like metal in there. Pretty sweet. Looks like we also got a uh, super fast speed loader. So, if you guys aren't familiar, I'll actually show you guys real quick what this looks like and actually how this works. Gotta squeeze that guy out like freaking marshmallows. Basically, this is how this works. You take out this little kind of cool little wheel, put the BBs obviously in the top right there, holds a whole bunch in there. And then you just kind of take some M4 style magazine. You actually just plug it up like so. And you're actually able to just wind the BBs back into the magazine like so. Obviously, there's no point with a high cap magazine, but if it's a mid cap magazine, it's actually way easier to load it than just using a normal speed loader, just way faster. All right, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the only thing left in this really nice case right there. Obviously, I'm guessing this is some kind of really cool gun in here. Obviously, it's kind of like a random custom case, so pretty cool. Let's actually see what we got in this bad boy. It's not some normal branded box like any other airsoft gun. This thing looks like it comes in a really nice case, so I'm not really sure what we're going to get in this guy, but I'm guessing something very nice. Let's check it out. I'm super excited to see what's in this guy. Ooh. 
Nice. Damn, son. All right, took some time to kind of look over the actual MCX itself and kind of get more of a conclusion to what's actually on here. There's lots of cool stuff. So basically, we got a cool little tracer unit. Obviously, we got this little like PQ box on the top as well as this really cool laser too. The MCX actually comes with a key mod rail system, actually these side inserts on the side right there. And basically, this has a little kind of like key mod segment where it actually kind of makes the flashlight go onto a little angle. So it actually just kind of looks nicer on the side right there. It just kind of isn't in a weird annoying spot where you can actually just put your finger still around it and just have that access whether if it was right here to kind of be in your way of your fingers and your grip so obviously it's kind of nice to have these like angled off like flashlight mounts and obviously it's really cool too because with this guy so mcx's are front wired obviously with the stock in the back but there's like different notches in the stock too so you can actually make it different lengths which is really nice so like fully extended medium extended and then all the way down which is pretty cool but the con to that stock stuff is actually you're able to only be able to put a battery in the front wired system but basically this rail is super hard to take off and put on it there is like a negative space to put a battery in there too so so what they actually did is had this little like EQ box, which I thought was a laser. But basically, if you take a closer look, looks like there is the exposed little Dean's guy for the battery right there. You're actually able to put a battery into this little box, kind of hiding it right there. Obviously, it's not easy to put the battery in this guy as well. But once it's in there, it's obviously a lot nicer than just taking this rail off and on with all this cool stuff on there. It's got a really cool iron sight in the front too. Obviously, it's inverted, so it goes down the opposite way. Still works the same, but obviously because the PQ box right there, it actually is able to just go down a frontward position, which is pretty cool. So you have more room and it just kind of looks pretty sick. And we also have a Lancer Tactical red dot sight there too, which is pretty sweet. It has this really cool little riser, kind of like a skeleton one, kind of just like fitting it with the whole style of the build. Obviously, this thing has kind of like a skeleton style with the kind of handguard having holes in it. The stock has some cool stuff to it. And obviously, the body having all this cool little designs so kind of just fits right in with the whole build, having this kind of like skeletonized look for the riser. And then obviously, with the flashlight, it actually has a little pressure switch right here. So you can see the wires actually go through the PQ box right there, and then out the other side for the pressure switch. Pretty cool. But it's really nice because you can actually have a proper grip with this guy and actually still activate the flashlight on the other side which is pretty nice comes with a really cool little mid cap magazine too just kind of like a standard black one looks actually kind of longer than normal ones maybe it holds a little bit more than normal but that's what it looks like within the gun kind of like a really long magazine kind of quirky for this compact style rifle but pretty sweet anyway so obviously this is like a fully blacked out style gun i really like guns that just have like fully black parts looks really nice obviously it has this really cool like real red trigger to tie everything together pretty sweet going into the other side of the gun looks like we have a cool little rotary hop up hiding behind that dust cover so obviously very nice compared to the normal hop up style so always a good thing to have that and obviously with this guy you have a back iron set right there and then a little sling mount in the back as well and you can obviously put one i guess in this little spot right there on either side or even some on the stock as well it's actually a really nice grip has some kind of like texture to it so obviously feels really nice with the gloves actually has some cool looks to it as well we also have this mysterious white package so let's actually see what this in here oh okay it's just like the little t-shirt designs but actually in stickers which is pretty cool without further ado let's go ahead and see how this guy shoots the struggle is going to be try to find a battery for this little guy All right, here is the setup with this guy. Obviously, I couldn't really fit a uh, or find a proper battery that will fit in this PQ box, but this is kind of the best we could do with what we had, but uh, it doesn't look super bad, I guess. At least not as bad as the taped one we did. Let's see what this guy's got and how it shoots. Start with some semi-automatic. Obviously, this one's got the uh, fastest rate of fire of the video for the semi-automatic. Feels really crisp and nice. Obviously, this thing is a super sweet airsoft gun. Let's try some full auto. Ooh, spicy. Can't even feed the BBs fast enough with this mag. Okay, that is really fast. <laughs> Do some sim on Mac to end it off, see how fast we can really shoot. Not too bad. All right, some more full auto. It's like shooting so fast the magazine can't even keep up with it. Pretty nuts.